Welcome to the Blockchain for Humanity 2020 Awards. Every year we receive a good number of applications that allows us to validate the most promising use cases and solutions that have already reached a noticeable level of adoption. It is with great pleasure that we present the dreamers and the shapers who will receive the recognition of the Blockchain for Humanity 2020 Awards. While this year's brought us COVID and its challenges, it also brought us insights, creativity, and inspiration that made us more agile and adaptable to new circumstances. This year awards nominees showed a remarkable desire to address problems that become even more critical under unprecedented situations. With that said, the dreamers have demonstrated a valuable use case for a known problem. While these projects are not fully validated, and in most cases they lack user adoption, they are inspired and driven by their vision. As for the shapers, they have already gained a level of business maturity. They have gone through adjustments in their business models, but their impact is unquestionable and their use case adoption is well on track. For us, the shapers are the role models. They are the social entrepreneurs driven by higher purpose. The awards recognize and commend these conscious leaders taking on a huge world challenge. So this year we had a tough competition in Shapers category, but at the end we've managed to select three very interesting projects from three different impact categories. Shaper awards are meant to recognize those who have already demonstrated strong use cases or products that are clearly in support of SDGs. Our awardees for Shaper category for this year are Trace RX in the category of humanitarian aid and traceability for giving the AGOs in a global scale platform where they can trace and reduce the loss of humanitarian relief, which is more than 30% every year. Our next awardee in the category of financial inclusion is Trustlines, for allowing an individual to be an equal co-creator of medium of exchange and participate in peer-to-peer -peer mutual credit system. And in the category of community development and social inclusion, our last shaper for this year is Dada's Invisible Economy for giving the possibility to all artists around the world to be a part of global community, create collective long-term wealth and receive a social dividend regardless of free market. Hello, this is Gus and I have the pleasure in being the first to present in one of our three Dreamers Award D, and I'm talking about Bitcoin Beach, a community in El Sonte, in Salvador, with the only purpose of making Bitcoin the main medium of exchange in their locality. We love Bitcoin Beach because they are a source of inspiration to the entire world about how you can create a thriving and circular economy thanks to Bitcoin. Felicidades, familia! Beach project was born out of the idea to really prove to the world that Bitcoin could be used in, in real transactional ways and that really was the, the money of the people. For so long it's been associated with speculation and Lambos and, and the rich and we wanted to show that this really could be used by the unbanked and really could be used to help bring people out of poverty. The reason that the Bitcoin Beach project is so timely and so urgently needed right now is because all the world is focused on Bitcoin at this time, and we want them to be focused on the real change that can happen, how it can impact the lives of the poor, that this isn't just for the hedge fund managers, but this is for the, the people that are scraping by day to day who have been left out by the banks. And this is the time to really show to the world that Bitcoin will change the world. The reason that blockchain is so important is it's only because of blockchain that we can include the poorest 
the people who have been left out by the banks because they don't have the proper government ID, the people that the banks have decided are not worth dealing with because they can't make any profit off them. They've been able to keep them out of the system before and keep them locked in poverty. But because of the blockchain, because of its decentralized nature, nobody can be locked out and it levels the playing field so that the poor can finally compete in the world. My name is Wojtek, and I am happy to present to you another Dreamer Awardee. This project has scored the highest in the scalability and replicability potential category. It has been a wildcard choice for almost half of the judges, and is my personal favorite project from the post-COVID hackathon. Please join me in congratulating the wonderful team behind Distributed Town. So. First of all, social distancing forced people to find alternative ways to communicate, collaborate and work together. Unfortunately though, existing DAO platforms still suffer from poor UX and generalized purpose and speculative currencies that encourage short-term individual profit and selfish behavior rather than collaborative problem solving and mutual support. Distributed Town solved these issues by developing an applied cross-chain protocol that aims to be the standard in collaborative economics, pseudonymous ID verification and fundraising for public goods. On our platform, users can create a new community in seconds, for free, that allows different types of use cases, spacing from hackathon and blockchain teams to creative projects, arriving till local communities that facilitate local development and incentivize neighbors' mutual support. Each community member receives the ITO credits straight after the registration, when they state their skills and the experience that they have in them. Members and tokens can move across the network seamlessly in a blockchain agnostic fashion that makes them literal citizens of a distributed town. So, thank you very much for listening to me. This was Distributed Town and we are building a system based on value rather than money and speculation. Feel free to be part of it. And our last awardee in the category of dreamers is Wikibank for giving us the opportunity to donate fresh food through their application to those who have a hard time to bring food to their tables these days. Congratulations Wikibank. My name is Miguel Prados and I'm going to introduce you Wikibank, a way to enhance local economy by providing fresh food donations. So 90% of the food banks had a surge in demand due to the COVID crisis. And the problem with donation is that for food banks, they can't provide fresh food. For prepaid debit cards, money goes to big supermarket chains and the paper food vouchers, they're really difficult to manage and they're costly. So the solution would be to give that money to local jobs and then enhance local economy. How we do that? We provide a prepayment of fresh food in local shops. Then we redistribute this money in form of vouchers or tokens to people in need in the area. So they can redeem that fresh product just using their mobile phone to pay. Why we use blockchain? Because it's secure, you don't have to have a bank account to pay, you can trace transactions and it has a really low management cost and it's as simple as receive and pay. We have started already in one of the poorest neighborhoods in Europe, which is the Polygono Sur in Sevilla. We have five local shops in this Cinco Sur market and 30 families supported. And as you can see, the process is as simple as click to pay and then the merchants receive two seconds later the amount on their mobile phone. It's as simple as click and pay. So this is the amazing team that put everything together and we will be happy to replicate Wikibank wherever you need it. Thank you. So this is it, the B4H 2020 Awards. Thank you for sharing this experience with us. Congratulations again to the awardees. You deserve this recognition. Thank you to all nominees. 
thank you to our judges. You did a wonderful job. And thank you to the sponsor, the Swan Foundation. And I will see you next year. Bye. Peace and love. Bye bye. Enjoy the conference and see you next year. See you next year. Bye bye. And don't forget to donate to the Blockchain for Humanity 2020 awards campaign. All the funds go to the awardees.